morning, and this is Talking Hands, Hands again. I'm Gary Helwig. Suzanne Helwig. And what we're going to show in this video is how to connect components. Now, you see an earring here, and the ear wire finding that we made is connected to the earring body. And what we're going to show you is several different ways that you can connect components together like that. Now, in this now, when one, you say component, you mean like a wire component in a bead? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or, it, or wire, just wire or just beads even? Yes. In this one, uh, the ear wire has an open loop at the top, so we can open and close it like that. Like so that. the open loop is on the ear wire, not on the component. In this particular earring. And you open and close the loop with your uh, chain nose pliers by grabbing one side of the loop and twisting it up or down. The important thing, here's a really large jump ring. That and, will help demonstrate this. Right, and it'll be really good for showing. Now, the tools that we use for opening and closing jump rings are our chain nose pliers. And if you want, you can use two, and one this big I could do it with my fingers. But just so you can see, if this was a small jump ring, you grab one side with one pair of pliers and the other side with the other. And you twist up to open, and you I can see. see it's open like that. And you twist down to close, and you, see, you can see it's closed like that. And what you don't do is pull it this way. I see. Because that will ruin, ruin the, shape. the shape. So you twist up and down. So if we were going to take this jump ring. A much smaller one. A, this is a medium sized jump ring. If we were going to take this jump ring. So the opening is in between the pliers. In between the pliers. And then we twist up and we can connect it to the earring. And then we twist down. And so you can see that now the two components are connected. And if I Let wanted to. Let me see to, that again. Well, I'm just going to, let me do okay. one more thing. Here. Sure. Uh, what I'm going to do is twist up to open, connect the earring body, twist down to close. And you're using a different color wire, not so much for design, but to demonstrate it's easy to see the difference between the wires. Exactly. Got it. So that's now, why I'm using a, a darker colored wire. Yes. Now, the one thing that you need to see here is uh, the, the way, when I use the jump ring, the jump ring uh, changes the orientation of the way that earring body hangs. So you can see for this, the jump ring wouldn't work because the earring body is right. pointed in the wrong direction. Right. So what do we do if we want to connect these two uh, with the co connector component? Uh, well, you would have to add up. another jump ring or the, this other option that you're going to show. And the other option is a component that we call a figure eight connector. So I can take a figure eight connector and I'm going to open one side. And these are ones that you personally made that you're going to demonstrate in another video, right? In another video, we'll show how to make jump rings and right. figure eight Right, but connectors. you made those yourself, right? I made these. Got it. I made these. So now I've connected the figure eight connector to the ear wire. Got it. And I'm going to connect the other side to the earring body by doing that open close technique. Open and close by bending it up. And then bend it back down to close. Yes. I see. And I didn't do that as well as I would like. So you're squeezing it. Right. So uh, that's another way you can connect two components like that. And we actually have a figure eight connector that we call a modified figure eight connector that will also change the orientation of this uh, of the earring here. So there's several ways that we can do this, uh, but the important thing is when you're connecting uh, components like this, you want to. But you might also show bend the wire it. up and bend the wire down, and that's how you right. Do it. And, and to squeeze them closed if it's not exact, you might show them that technique with the special pliers that work so well. Okay, if you if your loop is a little bit open, like these this one is right pliers. here. These are fabulous pliers. I love them. Uh, these are loop closing pliers, right. and they have a groove in them, and the groove holds the wire. And so that closes your loop. And allows you to hold the wire while you squeeze the. But the that's why you closed. call them loop closing pliers. They work great. Yeah. You have to get used to them, but boy, once you do, they're fabulous. So you can see that they close the gap there. 
and that's our loop closing pliers. And where did this component here, I think, is interesting. How did you make these spirals? I love them. I made those spirals with the wig jig spiral maker. Oh, you did use the spiral maker. Right, and we have the, the instructions that... for that earring on our website. Great, and so this is just so we can show them. The spiral maker is a uh, attachment for the jig, and you basically stick the wire in the spiral maker, put the wire down in between the two, and you twist, and it forms perfect spirals. And we will show this in another video. We'll show, yes, we'll have another video, and I'm just going to put the earring body back together, and i got to get the orientation correct on the piece, and then, you know, first open it by bending it up, and then close it by bending it down, and then give it a little squeeze with my pliers, and our Super. earring is restored to its original beauty. Great. And that's it. Good job. Thanks.